Hi. The aim of this submodule is to show how it is possible to use the Copernicus data in order to analyze the anthropogenic pressure on coastal areas for management purposes. Half of the European population lives in coastal regions. The potential for economic opportunities in coastal cities often attracts people from economically depressed rural areas. As a result, the growing coastal population has a considerable impact on the natural evolution of the coastline. It alters important natural ecosystems, which also has repercussions for the economic activities and infrastructures. Therefore, it is important to monitor the urban settlements in those areas in order to adequately plan their evolution. Two use cases are presented. First, the Italian very high resolution imperviousness layer is used to finally monitor the changes in coastal areas. Second, an indicator related to the coastal anthropogenic pressure is shown. Urban planners and coastal managers can use it in their daily tasks. Use case one. The imperviousness layer of Copernicus land monitoring service has been used to derive for Italy a very high resolution version of the same layer with a spatial resolution of 5 meters. This layer has been updated for the 2015 reference year using the Sentinel-2 images. The new layer has a 10 meter spatial resolution. Both data have been produced for the Italian National Institute for Environmental Protection and Research, ISPRA. The better spatial resolution allows the mapping of minor impervious soil elements, such as small houses, minor roads, and railway networks. In the figure, an example taken in the central areas of Rome is shown. Comparing the two versions of the imperviousness layer, it is clear how the higher resolution allows for the identification of minor sealed elements. Comparing the 2012 layer in red and the 2015 layers in blue, it is possible to monitor the changes. In the figure, a new impervious area detected in the sensible coastal area is shown. In Italy, this is defined as a 300 meter buffer from the coastline. Let's see another example of changes in urban areas near the coastline. This is the built up map of Sicily in Italy, of 2012 at 5 meter. Clicking on zoom, we can see a details on the northeast part of the island on the 2012 very high resolution imperviousness map, 5 meter spatial resolution. In order to compare this map with the one related to the 2015, we have to resample the 2012 map, bringing it at 10 meter spatial resolution. We are interested in the areas close to the coastline. To see these areas, we can activate the coastal buffer layer. The greatest part of the city is concentrated in 300 meters from the coastline. Clicking now on the built-up map 2015, we can see the very high resolution imperviousness layer for the year 2015. Now let's uh, analyze the changes. This is uh, the change map obtained from the two previous layers. In red, the new impervious areas. In dark grey, the unchanged areas. We can analyze on the Sentinel-2 image the new impervious area found. The Sentinel-2 image acquired in 2015 is shown. It is possible to note the changed area. Now, the two very high resolution impervious maps are displayed on top of the Sentinel-2 for a better comprehension of the change area. Now, let's move to the second use case. In order to evaluate the impact of human settlements on the coastal areas, it is important to have a homogeneous time series of data. The imperviousness layer of the Copernicus Land Monitoring Service include the maps of reference years 2006, 2009 and 2012. They will be used to derive the coastal anthropogenic pressure indicator. 
The purpose of uh, this indicator is threefold. To quantify the urbanization on coastal areas, to provide a measurement of the impact of the urbanization of, on coastal areas, to provide the useful information to urban planners and coastal managers. The indicator will be extracted for uh, three different buffer areas from the coastline, 300 meter, 1 kilometer and 10 kilometer. For these buffer zones and for each administrative unit, the amount of impervious areas is computed. Besides the imperviousness time series, the other input data are the shape files of the administrative units of Sicily. It will be considered the whole region and the nine provinces of it. To perform the computation, a GIS software will be used. Now, let's start the demo. In order to compute the indicator, the first step is to record the, the imperviousness layer. It has values from 0, not impervious, to 100, pixels totally covered by impervious areas. The record operation will change those values to 0, not impervious, and 1, any degree of imperviousness. To change the value, we can click on Setup Record. In the column New Value, we have changed the values. The original uh, imperviousness degree from 1 to 100 has been changed to 1. If we click on OK, we can run the record operation. This is the map just created. In red, we see the pixels with the value 1. We can now move to the second step. Now we need to create the 300 meter buffer area from the coastline. We start from the shape file of the Sicily region. The buffer we have to create is inside the shape file. Thus, we put in the field of distance the value of minus 300. The negative buffer, the operation, has created a new shape file with the boundary moved back by 300 meters. In order to have only the buffer zone, we have to subtract this shape file from the original one. The erase tool is a GIS operation which deletes one shape file, the erase feature, from another shape file, input feature. The result of the erase tool is a shape file representing the 300 meters buffer area from the coastline. We have to repeat the same operation to create the shape file of a 1 km buffer and 10 km buffer. We can see all the three buffer together. Now let's move to step 3. In this step, for each buffer zone, we want to compute the amount of impervious areas included in the buffer area. In order to do this computation, we have to use the GIS tool called Zonal Statistics. The statistics are calculated from the input value raster, in our case the map generated in the first step, using the buffer zones calculated in the previous step. We have to run the tool three times, one for each buffer zone. As a statistic type, we can indicate the sum. After a few simple JS operations and repeating them for 2009 and 2012, we can analyze the results. For the whole of Sicily, more than 25% of the 300 meter buffer area is covered by an impervious area of any degree of imperviousness, with a trend of a small increase in 2009 and 2012. Similar behavior can be observed for one kilometer buffer. For the 10 km buffer, we have found that only the 10% of coastal area is covered by an impervious surface. This value is almost constant in the time series. This quick analysis confirms that for the Sicily region, the human settlements tend to develop mainly in proximity of coastal areas. Now, we want to do the same analysis for the nine provinces of Sicily. We do not need to repeat the step one. Of course, the modified raster remains the same. We have to create the new buffer zones, three for each province. 
we can use the JS tool called Identity, which has two main inputs. The first is the shape file we want to split. In our case, one of the buffer areas created before. And the Identity feature, which is the shape file that defines the splitting areas. Using this tool for the three buffer zones, we can create the new buffer areas, three for each province. Step three, the zonal statistics, is the same as we did before for the whole region and it has to be repeated for each province. By collecting all the results, we can show and analyze them. At the provincial level, the situation varies a lot from one province to another. For example, the Ragusa province in the south of the island is characterized by a high percentage of impervious surface with the respect to the total, both in the 300 meter and one kilometer buffers, more than 40%, with an increasing trend. We can see the results for 2009 and for 2012. For the Palermo province in the northwest of the island, there is an important increase in the percentage of impervious surface in the period from 2009 to 2012. Thank you for your attention.